Welcome to China Connect. We're your laugh out loud passport to China's best. Explore and let's discover China now with a giggle. Today, we're bringing you an extensive, comprehensive exploration of the recent Shanghai Cooperation Organization (SCO) summit. During the summit, President Xi Jinping delivered a significant speech that has the potential to impact not just the region but also the global political landscape. So, grab your favorite snack, find a comfortable spot, and let's dive deep into this intricate and fascinating topic together. On July 4th, President Xi Jinping attended the 23rd meeting of the Council of Heads of State of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization (SCO) via video call. He gave an insightful speech entitled "Bearing in Mind the Original Mission and Staying True to Our Original Aspiration: Strengthening Solidarity and Cooperation and Achieving Greater Development." While the title might seem overwhelming, we're here to break down the essential points and analyze their potential consequences for the world at large. Xi Jinping's primary message emphasized the importance of peace, development, and cooperation as pillars for global peace and progress. He further highlighted the idea of a human community with a shared future, a concept that has been steadily gaining recognition and support over the past decade. Considering the turbulent and unpredictable nature of our world today, characterized by rapid changes and unprecedented challenges, Xi Jinping raised some crucial questions: Should we opt for unity or division, peace or conflict, cooperation or confrontation? His answer was explicit. The aspiration of the people for a better life is what we should pursue, and the trend of peace, development, cooperation, and mutual benefit is unstoppable. To address these challenges, Xi Jinping put forth five key suggestions. Let's delve even deeper into each of them and examine their potential impact on the global stage. One, keep the right direction and deepen unity and mutual trust. According to Xi Jinping. As long as member states remain focused on their shared interests, eliminate interference, and intensify communication, they can maintain and achieve security and development. He advocated for resolving differences through dialogue and cooperation, respecting core interests, and supporting revitalization and development. Two, safeguard regional peace and security. China is committed to collaborating with all parties in implementing the Global Security Initiative and promoting political solutions to international and regional issues. This commitment includes enhancing the SCO's security cooperation and cracking down on terrorism, drug smuggling, and cybercrime. Three, focus on pragmatic cooperation and accelerate economic recovery. Xi Jinping called for opposing protectionism and unilateral sanctions. And instead, championing cooperation that benefits all. He invited all parties to participate in the Third Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation and proposed the establishment of an SCO Development Bank. Four. Strengthen exchanges and mutual learning to promote people-to-people -people bonds. China welcomes all parties to promote the coexistence of different civilizations and mutual understanding among the peoples. Over the next three years. China will provide scholarships, summer camp places, and invite young scientists from SCO countries for scientific exchange. Five. Practice multilateralism and improve global governance. Xi Jinping urged the global community to safeguard the international system, centered around the United Nations, and advance the modernization of human society by promoting equity in rights, opportunities, and rules. Xi Jinping also underscored that under the Communist Party of China's leadership, China is working towards modernization with Chinese characteristics, providing new development opportunities for other countries, including SCO members. What implications do these developments have for the world? It's evident that the SCO is dedicated to working collectively to maintain peace, security, and development in the region. As Xi Jinping highlighted, unity, peace, and cooperation are the way forward, and the SCO will continue to expand and evolve as a result of these joint efforts. The SCO summit also witnessed the signing and release of several resolutions, most notably granting Iran full membership status, bringing the total number of full members to nine. This development has significant implications for the Middle East, 
as it could prompt other countries in the region to gravitate towards the SCO, fostering unity and economic development in the Eurasian region. In conclusion, the recent SCO summit and President Xi Jinping's critical speech serve as an essential reminder of the complex and interconnected nature of global politics. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization is committed to working together for a more peaceful, prosperous, and united world. It's through these kinds of collaborative efforts that we can hope to bring about the positive change we all want to see. Thanks for exploring China with us. Hit like, comment, and share for laughs. Subscribe and drop your thoughts below. Let's keep showcasing this amazing nation. See you in the next funny video.